So uh, thank you very much, uh, Lindsay Snow, for joining us for this exclusive interview for Bodyslam.net. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. It's uh, pretty rainy out here in Philly. <laughs> yeah, the weather's not but... too much better here. <laughs> But I'm enjoying it. It's a it's a definitely a big change coming from Florida where yesterday I was in like tank top and shorts, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm in full track suit. <laughs> so you mentioned obviously being from Jacksonville, Florida, born and raised there. Um was wrestling always something that you were a fan of growing up or did you have other interests and wrestling came along later? Um well wrestling kind of it was there like all along kind of, but just like kind of in the background until I got older. Um, I, you know, I did everything when I was younger. I did dance, I did tap, jazz, ballet, acrobatics, gymnastics. Um, I did like stuff in like the rodeo too. Like I did barrel racing and like, yeah, all sorts of crazy, crazy stuff. And um, I did karate. So like I had my hand in like a lot of different things when I was younger. Um, I just had a lot of energy. <laughs> That's what my mom would say. <laughs> so they were always trying to get me entertained with something. <laughs> so I wasn't at home taking stuff apart. <laughs> oh, nice one. So how did you then come about to develop into the wrestling and end up breaking into the business uh, and the crazy world of professional wrestling? Um, so I, I kind of like had like a little taste of it when I was younger, like my dad and I would watch it. But then like, as I kind of grew older, I started like playing sports and did like dance and stuff like that. And then um, after high school was when I started watching like pride and like got into like UFC type stuff, like MMA and um, that's when I found my, my love for jujitsu. And um, I started training jujitsu. And, uh, and then I started competing in jujitsu. And um, uh, one day I was tattooing at my shop and I was watching pro wrestling. And I ended up getting a walk in. And uh, the guy was like, well, it's weird. Like, who's watching pro wrestling right now? I was like, oh, that's that's me. And he was like, wow, a girl watching pro wrestling. What the hell? Like at work? And I was like, yeah, no, I do this all the time. And uh, he was like, well, that's crazy because that's what I do. And I was like, oh, I really I really want to do pro wrestling. Like, I really want to be a pro wrestler. I already train jujitsu and I already compete in jujitsu tournaments. Um, like, I would love to get into pro wrestling. And he was like, oh, well, this is where we train at. If you want to come this weekend, show up. And so I did. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's like, so who were your early mentors and whereabouts did you train to well, start your journey in professional wrestling? Um, I trained with Jay Lethal, like, to this day, um, basically. I The first place that I trained at was uh, that guy that came and got a tattoo from me. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was training there, pretty much that day, um, one of my friends was like, hey, I think you need to come talk to Jay and start learning from him. So basically, that's how I started. I met Jay um, through a friend of mine named Michael Patrick. And then uh, I still train with Jay to this day. Like I was there last week getting ready for this, you know. <laughs> Fantastic. And you mentioned earlier about your love of jiu-jitsu. You compete in jiu-jitsu. Many tend to find it, some do, some don't, difficult to go from combat sports, mixed martial arts into the wrestling world. How did you find that transition yourself uh, and learning, obviously, the craft? Oh, man. Okay. So at first, um, I had a hard time, like, with pulling my punches and pulling my kicks and stuff like that. And, um, you know, obviously learning the art of the work is, you know, part of it. And uh, it, it definitely, it was a... Um, it wasn't that hard of a transition, but it was definitely pretty funny for other people to watch me transition from, <laughs> from combat sports to uh, to pro wrestling. <laughs> I know Jay got a, a couple of laughs over, like, he would just have me, like, clothesline people just because <laughs> I would just put so much into it, and he would just sit there and laugh at me. 
<laughs> uh, incredible. Brilliant. <laughs> so we'll fast forward to 2016. You've obviously got used to the world of pro wrestling a bit, learning the ropes. And on March the 30th at FTPW, downtown throwdown, you defeat Brandy Lauren for the ladies' mm -hmm. championship. How did it feel to get that chance to be now the top woman in that promotions division? What was the, the feeling to from this training you've gone through to to get any illustrious title is is what is yeah. up there? So how did it feel for you? Um, it it felt like I was in the steps to finally making it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I was finally achieving a goal that I had set out and um you know, not to say that that was the goal was just to win that title. That wasn't just like the, that was just the beginning of, mm -hmm. you know, achieving the main goal, you know, to actually get out and do this for like full time to, you know, be able to go out and fight really respected fighters and have great matches. And, you know, it was a, it was a building blocks to all of that. So I knew like, that was definitely going to be something really big, like the start of something really big for me. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And then you've gone to work for a few promotions in between, but now you're with Shine, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Mm -hmm. How have you found your time there since starting there in 2017? And what do you have your eyes on in 2024 with the promotion? <laughs> well, right now I have the tag titles with Kelsey Reagan, but you know, Eva has the has the women's championship right now, and she doesn't seem to want to give it up. And I want to be the person to take it from her because we've gone at it so many times, and I just <laughs> I want nothing more than to take that title from her. <laughs> We capture the same feeling from obviously being FTPW's lady champion as well. For sure, for sure. Okay, so there's something the fans have got to look forward to on the cards then uh, potentially post Bloodsport. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Um, there's a there's another shine coming up in May on the 10th, so we'll have to see what what's in store on on May 10th. <laughs> oh, okay interesting interesting good to keep a lookout then so obviously before shine in may tomorrow is blood sport x uh in very sunny philadelphia as you've <laughs> kindly <laughs> kindly explained um you return to face three other competitors in the women's tournament which you are the inaugural champion of how are you feeling going into this I'm feeling really good. Um, I've been training so hard for this. Um, I put forth like so much effort into making sure that I'm a well-rounded fighter. You know, I've like started doing more judo. Um, I've added more things into my repertoire just so that I'm not the same fighter that I was the last time when I won blood sport. So I I wanted to bring something new to the competition that I didn't have last time. Interesting. Okay. And the three competitors you'll be up against, Masha Slamovich, Marina Shafir, and a debuting Lady Frost. What homework have you done on your opponents? Have you ever come and crossed paths with them uh, in your in your past uh, on the road in pro wrestling? So I've uh I've actually been a tag partner with Lady Frost before in Chill or Be Chilled. Um, she's a really amazing wrestler, and I'm excited to see her get this opportunity. Um, it's one that I know that she's been wanting for a long time. Um, Marina, uh, I actually know her as well, but I knew her from before her and I both started pro wrestling. I actually uh, went to CSW. Um, and trained with Eric and, and Josh. And that's where I met Marina and her and I have rolled before. So I know that she's a beast. Um, and, and Masha now, Masha, uh, she actually is fighting Shayna now, but Janai Kai is coming in to replace her. Oh, okay. and, 
I've also been in the ring with Janai Kai, and I know that those feet are definitely educated and dangerous. But I know all of my competitors, and I know what I don't need to get caught in. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I have done my homework, and I'm very... I'm I'm a very confident kaiju going into this. <laughs> Rightly so. Well, I cannot wait to watch it. I think it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, I think the card just looks absolutely stacked, absolutely stacked from top to bottom. And it's from previous interviews and and talking, it's probably one of the few times you're seeing top talent from not just the indies and the independent scene, but big promotions, WWE. TNA, New Japan coming in. So it's going to be absolutely electric. I, I cannot wait for it. And I'm sure you're going to absolutely light up the light up the house. For sure. This is uh, this is my favorite time of the year, man. Um, I've looked forward to every blood sport since I won the tournament. Um, you know, this is the first time that I've been healthy enough to compete because, uh, so you all know, I blew my knee out a couple years ago um but now i'm healthy i'm back to being 110 percent and uh yeah, I'm, I'm ready to show everybody who the american kaiju is once again amazing and so out of the uh, curiosity what did it feel like to get the call again from the legendary josh barnett to take part in this event couple days before mania <laughs> man i love getting that call from josh because i know that when josh has his mindset to something you know it's going to be big you know that he has faith in you to you know go out there and do what you're supposed to do you're supposed to go out there and display your skills you know and uh there's really not a better feeling than that having that kind of confidence from the war master himself. <laughs> well, again, I cannot look forward to it anymore. It's going to be incredible. Every wrestler that I've chatted to from it in these sh uh, short interviews is stoked, ready to go, give their A game, yourself included. So I think anyone who's going to be there is going to be lucky, anyone watching it uh, on Thriller, Plus, is going to be in for an absolute world. So, thank you very much for your time. I'm going to let you carry on with your preparations. Enjoy the run up to it. And uh, I just want to thank you again for taking the time out to do this interview for Bodyslam.net. No problem. It was my pleasure, man. Thank you uh, for taking the time to do this. And um, yeah, Blood Sports gonna it's gonna take the whole weekend. I. I have all of the confidence in the world that everybody is going to be talking about blood sport the whole weekend. I'll share that hundred percent. And for those who don't know, where can they find your social and also any, any upcoming events that they can catch you at? All right. So you can catch me at Twitter and uh, Instagram. I am the Florida ma'am, M A A M. <laughs> and, um, Go check out my Instagram and see all the shows that I'm at this weekend. There's so many going on. Um, I got uh, Circle Six. I got GCW, Bloodsport, obviously, tomorrow. I'm on the Clusterfuck. Um, then I have a uh, Sick New World on Sunday. And then you can come find me at uh, WrestleCon Friday and Saturday for sure. Maybe Sunday. We'll see. <laughs> Incredible. Well, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I wish you all the best uh, tomorrow in blood sport. It's going to be a killer. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll chat soon. Appreciate your time. No problem. Bye. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.